Hello, everyone. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Thank you for returning once again. Lucy had a gin and tonic. To the, <laughs> the trench of knowledge where news goes to die, uh, the rotting carcasses of stupid news that Simon has plucked, dredged from the deeps, uh, and is bringing to us now to share with you and I. I'm, I'm diggy digging a hole to find mineral deposits of news. Only you're finding coprolites. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. Fossilized shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that should never have been dug up. Um, but you think it's gold. And maybe it is. Someone will buy it. People will buy any old shit, won't they? They're idiots. Thank you for watching slash listening to this, by the way. On a completely unrelated note. Uh, so, Lewis, have you heard about the the monolith that appeared in San Francisco? I haven't. A couple of years ago, a year and a bit ago. A monolith? A like, monolith. Like from 2001? Yeah. A great monolith appeared. Um, I don't know if there's a picture of it. I hope there is. Yeah. There's a picture on Twitter. Now, when you say monolith... It could be anything. It could be tiny. I mean, it looks massive. It looks it like could the size be of a skyscraper. Fucking gigantic looking. Or that could just be false perspective. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think it is false per perspective. It's um, made of gingerbread. A giant notably. gingerbread stelly. Stella? Stell? Steel? Don't know how to pronounce it. I've seen it. I don't know how to spell it, though. Um, they have them. We've nicked them oh, from obelisk. everywhere. Remember? Obelisk, yeah. There's one in, um, there's a bunch of them we stole from across the country, the world. Oh, from God. Back in the colonial days. Yeah. Put them in our museums. Or in our town squares, yeah. People probably want them back, and we should give them back. If we got one of your stellies, let us know. Steli? Yeah, what we'll send this? them back. But this one, obviously, we didn't nick. It's made of gingerbread. pictures with a rainbow and, and shit. A gingerbread monolith. Gingerbread monolith. Um, so someone has built a tower of gingerbread. Seven foot tall. Seven foot tall. Seven foot tall in San Francisco. So not, I mean, again, like if I was to think monolith, seven feet, I think that's the minimum I would give. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's got to be taller than a man, right? You gotta yeah. Be, you got to, monolith has got to be big. Otherwise it would be a manolith. Or a mini lith. Or a mini lith. Yeah. That would be even smaller than a man. That's the scale. And then a micro lift would be something even smaller than that. So people weren't sure if it was edible, but it, it had the texture and the smell of gingerbread. How did it have the texture? Did they did they poke it? Well, no, I mean, you could, you could see just by looking up close to it that it's right. clearly gingerbread. biscuity looking. So this was just left, was it, by <laughs> aliens? Well, we don't know if it was aliens, but we don't know that it wasn't aliens. So... Let's just keep, just keep an open mind. Oh, by aliens, I meant... Um... Mexicans. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I don't know who did it. That was a bad joke. Sorry. It appeared early on Christmas Day. Oh, that's nice. On a hilltop in Corona Heights Park. Don't worry about that. It's bad PR for poor old... They've renamed now to something else. Probably after one of the presidents. Uh, a local Madison. A local resident went for a run in the early morning. Pick one. You can name anything after one of the old presidents, and it will what? be fine. What president? Why are you talking about presidents? Well, they can't call it. It's like calling it Hitler Heights. What? They got to change it. What are you talking Corona, about? It's got bad connotations. It just means crown. No, but nowadays people are like, oh, I'm not going to go to Corona Heights Park. I'm going to get Corona. I'm going to get COVID. No one thinks that. No one thinks that. Not anymore. No, because it's now COVID now. They're still selling Corona beer. But and back in the like, day, do you remember, mm. do you remember we, were at the, we were doing this... With a bit of lime in it. When mm. Corona started. We mentioned on this very podcast... It. <laughs> what did we do? Did we start it? <laughs> I don't know if we started it. But we were definitely... Ground floor. I think we were joking about it as if it was a thing that was going to be... In the world. Oh, no. Tom, 
Alex, can you have a look back? Alex isn't here, but he'll, he'll be listening to this. Just drop in an edit. Check back what we about said it. about Corona. Because it was on one of the very first episodes of this. I remember okay. it. We had remember it like it was yesterday. Different I do. But it was two years ago. It was at least two years ago. Ananda Sharma. It's a great name. It's a beautiful name. They went for a run early in the morning, thought they saw a big post, ran closer to it, and could was immediately hit by a wall of chai scent, spiced of, of, of the air, delicious aroma of cinnamony, sweet, gingery, subtle, tangy. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Christmas Day, a Christmas mm. Day run. What a beautiful thing for Christmas, though—a gingerbread monolith. I like it. So it looks like, I mean, we saw a picture, but it looks like plates, like square plates yeah. joined together with... Icing to hold it into place. I was going to say cement. Icing is the glue. Like when you make a gingerbread house. Yes. Right? Yeah. You use plates of gingerbread. Yeah. And they and obviously... Hold it together with icing. Had this kind of... It's quite a basic structure. Yeah. Not very fancy. No, it's not... The gingerbread Taj Mahal. No, it looks like a, a skyscraper gingerbread house, but without any windows. It looks like a Minecraft gingerbread pillar. It looked a bit like, um, what was it called? The Jaffa Factory. Right, yes. Without any windows. The brown. Just, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit like that. Um, would you... Would, would you, I... if... If there was a gingerbread house in the woods, and there was We've got a, a ghost, we got a poltergeist. There was a. Don't worry, it's friendly. If you were lured to it, I can feel a presence. By I was just Vin Diesel. And okay, some sort of. Uh, what? What are you? What is this question you have spent the last two minutes to ask? Would you eat the walls of a gingerbread house, or lick them? If it was just outside in a pu public park, in a, in a mire, in I a, would in not a dank eat it. Bog, There's a, you're in a bog. Okay, I'm picturing that episode of Bottom <laughs> when they're on Wimbledon Common. Come, Simon, to my gingerbread house. It's full of treats and jaffers. Oh, that sounds nice. Yes, come with me. Okay, this way. All right, off I go. Welcome to my house. Oh wow, it's really nice. It smells look wonderful. Look at my lovely here. wall made of gingerbread why don't you just eat them well what about your house though what about it well i'm worried that if i just indiscriminately you know eat a part of a wall of your house the whole building might collapse oh yes well that's load bearing there okay well i'll avoid that one and that's a key structural element all right i'll avoid that but what's a safe bit this one we're gonna knock through anyway oh okay so oh right i chow see down. so it's cool now to have a whole open cloud oh, now that i look at it Witch's yeah you, you've got like a kitchen behind that wall and you yes, want to break the oven, it through and then it's gonna be a combined dining it out. room lounge that, oh that's pretty nice that's pretty nice yeah it's great okay all right well we'll get stuck how in how am i gonna eat it though because it's just like a lot, a massive wall. Just with your hands. Do you want, well, I can punch. <laughs> shall I punch it and break a bit off? Go, just go for it. Go Ow! for it. It's really hard. What? My hand. Help. Hey, oh. Help, please. Are you all right? You I'm bleeding. My hands. Don't worry, I've got a bandage here. I was always made oh. out of gingerbread. It's gingerbread bandage. No, oh, God. Just eat it off once it feels better. Oh, that's not good. It will get infected. No, gingerbread's a natural antiseptic. Oh, like honey? And... Uh, lemon. Lemon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's right. Sure. Do you know what, though? We can, we can make it... Um, specially uh, sterilised by heating it up. So there's... Oh. oh. If I open the oven... All right, it's a very large oven I you've know. got here. You can just climb straight in. Okay. And just hold your hand up to the heating elements all for right. a few moments. Do you want me, what, you want me to get fully into the oven? Yeah, if you just take all your clothes off first. Wait. What? <laughs> Wait, this isn't a sex thing, is no, it? No, no, it's just because for sterilisation. Because if it is, I'm down for it. I'm going to be honest. Oh, Right. You're well, quite a good-looking witch. I mean, woman. Thank you. I do work hard on my look. I use uh, gingerbread face masks. Oh, is that why you've got this greenish tinge to your skin? Mm. It's very nice. It's you know, positively glowing. You're radiant. Thank looking. you. That's the magic. <laughs> magic? Yes. 
The witch is magic. Oh. That makes all of this possible. Oh, you are a witch then? Yes. Okay. Uh, hence the warts and the green. I remember there was a story skin. about a witch. Um, really? I'm flattered that you've heard of me. Yeah, it had a gingerbread house in it, now that I think about it. What happened in that story? The... Wait, hang on. There was a kid... Wait, Jeremy Renner... Was he a chubby... Got diabetes. Chubby kid. Yeah, yeah. He was the one who ate my entire... Sorry, uh, he got sugar sickness. Conservatory. Oh, yeah. You saw the the ruins out back. Oh, the conservatory was made of... He went through that like a bulldozer. Was it called crystalline sugar? Yes. Took me ages to make that yeah. into those plates. Because it's got to be like at the exact right temperature. Anyway, take your clothes stuff. off. Yeah. Pop oh. them off. Pants as well. Okay. Right. I'll deal with those. Into the oven. Hold it up. Thank you. Good. Hold, wait, hold what up? Hold this uh, sprig of, of um, rosemary. rosemary. Yeah. <laughs> and put this apple in your mouth. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Clog. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what a joy it was having a cyber round uh, for dinner. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you right in there? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I haven't turned it on. Hang on. Uh, uh. <laughs> very long in here. It's very long. Uh. <laughs> Is that someone at the door? It's my Amazon. I better get it. You stay there, Simon. You look fine. What did you order? What would a witch order from Amazon a Prime? A Kindle. Oh. Because of the bundle of sticks. I don't know. You probably get, like, um, you know, all the Brothers Grimm stories for free. On, you know. On Amazon Fire. Yeah. <coughs> Anyway, so it's a gingerbread monolith. Um, <laughs> yeah. That, uh, that's, that's, I don't know if there's much to this story. There's not. I, I think respect you saved the person this who, episode. who bought the gingerbread all the way up to a hill and built it. I think it probably wasn't one person. I'm surprised that local wildlife hasn't ruined it immediately. Yeah, because I'm trying to think, what, what do they have in California? They have uh, mountain lions, right? Well, I mean, we have... Do mountain lions like gingerbread? I've got... I recorded a seagull yesterday uh, that was... There was a... Did you get his permission? Did I it didn't. Did it, it didn't sign anything, like a a thing saying it's well, okay for you to use it. Well, image. I won't share it in that case. I'll just tell you about it. All right, just tell me about it. It There was a, a dog poo bin <sighs> with a, dog, a single dog poo in. And it was very keen to get. It had the plastic, you know. That so the dog poo was wrapped in plastic, okay, because it was getting into the bottom of the bin and it was trying to break through. It was properly making an effort to get oh at my that. God, desperate. And I knew that eventually, because it thought it must have been something nice, but <laughs> did it not realise that it was a turd? I didn't stay long enough for the moment where that oh pigeon my broke through. God. Can you imagine if you just spent like an hour just there waiting for it? I want to get this on video. This is going to go so viral. Just the moment a seagull realises that it spent an hour <sighs> chewing through plastic to get to a dog poo. That is... But that's what animals do. I don't know what I was... Exp I knew it was going to be something grim because it involved a seagull and they're fucking disgusting and they will eat anything, including other seagulls. I mean, they're not rats. fussy. But, Sick. And so the gingerbread monolith is a veritable feast. Do you know what I mean? That is... I don't think... Do they have seagulls in San Francisco? I mean, do, do they have rats, don't, don't they? Don't they have those... Well, those giant You're not fucking, supposed to leave stuff out. What are those out? giant birds they got there? Eagles. They got giant birds that, like... That Big bird. They, like... They flap their arms and they sort of bask in the sun. Have you not seen... Keep going. They sort of, you know, they wave. Quite majestic, but also quite sort of ugly looking birds. Like an albatross. They're very large. They like They've got big birds. wings. Anyway, I'm just concerned... Let us know in the comments. ...about pest, what this fucking bird pest is. control. 
that you're throwing a thing off. Yeah. Let us know. Read Simon's mind. Yeah. And tell him. Well, they're famous. What bird he's they're of. famous, the famous birds. Bird. They're famous for being. Just treat it like in, a little bit of a pub quiz. They're famous for being in San Francisco. Are if, they? If you go down to the piers, these fucking things are everywhere. Right. Sea lions. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I thought it was. Sea lions. Not a bird, is it? Well, I Not didn't know what you were thinking of. Wings. You were just doing this. So, um, pest, you're, pests. Right. You're not supposed to leave out because of rats. Do you know what I mean? You can't throw anything on the floor anymore. <laughs> because of the rats. Because someone will say the rats will eat that. They will eat rats now. You know, sometimes, you know, it's a bit late at night. It's too late to really eat a proper meal. Just put a bit of toast on. But then as I'm buttering it, I'm a little bit too rough with the knife. The toast goes flying off the counter, lands on the floor. A rat grabs it, scurries out. Is that like you motherfucker? That's my toast. Yeah, that was my supper. That's illegal. Actually, what you've just done there. Really? Yeah, you could be arrested for assisting a rat. Mm -hmm. In eating toast. Aiding and abetting. <laughs> Aiding and abetting a rat in the theft of toast. <laughs> a rat in the uh, consumption of yeah. uh, of snackery, of late night snackery. It's actually really bad to give rats toast. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to give them something, give them peas. <laughs> right. Just give them peas. They love that. It's healthy. <laughs> Is, that, is, that, is this what I told you about the ducks? You remembered something I told you. Oh, I'm flattered at the same yeah. time I'm mocked. Hey, Lewis. Is this more animal... Is this animal news now? You were worried about, um, like, vermin. I was. And, and, and feeding them. And that it might be dangerous and to leave food out. And the humble grey squirrel. I know a lot of middle-class people who are angry. Still at the grey squirrel for invading our homeland right. and replacing the red squirrel. Okay. Because the grey squirrels, they say, are just rats with tails. But I think they're quite cute. And actually, if you go to Brandon Park, you can just bring some nuts with you or whatever, whatever you got going, and skips, they will come up to you. KP Skips. They love the those. cocktail-flavoured potato snack. Whatever you got. Yeah. Not Twiglets, though. Um, I don't like the Marmite. But okay. they will come up right up to you and snatch those motherfuckers straight out of your hands. I saw one the other day in a tree letting out the most unholy cacophony you've ever heard. Well, from its asshole, was it fighting? No, it was... Because of all the skips maybe feeding it. Well, maybe it was in pain. It sounded like it was in pain. It, I've never heard it anything like it in my life. Have you ever heard of squirrel just like squeak, squeaking? Can you, can you do an imp... Where's my phone? Can you, my no, phone. no, 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 no. Do an impression of it. Do an impression. It was like... I originally thought it was a okay, bird. Brace yourselves, A everyone. weird bird. Okay. It was like... It was like that. Okay. I don't know where that noise came from, but that's pretty much what it sounded okay. like. It was yeah. loud. Yeah. It was... <laughs> It was more broken up than that. I think it was. Oh, oh, oh. And then, and then you look behind the bush. I was some, listening to something different. Oh, You're right. right. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't have mentioned. Immediately. That was a I assume that's nowadays. Oh. It's a big thing. All. I think. Well, this is going to be cut. <laughs> this is going to be cut. Anyway, no. Um, also, I don't think... I think it's mostly... Remember, we were talking about squirrels. <laughs> not... <laughs> the story's not... It's what about it is now? It's about squirrels. Anyway, it sounded like... Oh, 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 or if you're American, squirrels. Uh, squirrels. Squirrels. So, no. Um, it was awful. And noise pollution. Right. Uh, it was Did you upsetting. Him to the council? I didn't. I filmed it with my phone. Right. Uh, I'll send you the film. I'll yeah, send you if the you film. would. Because it's be weird. Great. I've never seen it. There's probably loads of squirrels doing it. If you could just pop it down here. Did you do it vertical video? Because you're a fucking idiot. Like probably. everyone does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just I'll put it between us 
Here is the video it of probably Lewis. Doesn't sound like Lewis's I, squirrel. Probably doesn't sound like the sound I made, but Lewis's yelling squirrel. Wow, that was something. Let me see if, wow, you, let me see if I can find it on my phone just to share it with you. I feel <laughs> It'd be like, amazing if you don't <laughs> send it I or you don't like have the clip. <laughs> angry little bastard. That's pretty loud, right? Pretty loud. Because I was thinking it was a bird. And I was like, I looked up and it's a fucking squirrel doing that. So what you're saying is squirrels are evil. I'm just saying that maybe we should watch out for them. Well, I think you might be right, Lewis, because there was this this squirrel. It's been nicknamed Stripe, which is one of the evil gremlins from the Gremlins movies. Gremlins movie, yeah. And um, apparently, it's gone on a. It's described as a psycho squirrel. Went on forty eight hour rampage, leaves eighteen people injured. Right. What is this? It's like The Hangover. Or something. 48 hour rampage. This was in Wales. Uh, First of all. Hello? Here's my problem. Mm. One. Just fucking leave it alone. Like, yeah, don't mess with it. How it, It's not going to injure anyone <clears throat> unless they're fucking with it. It's like... What? He indiscriminately attacked pensioners, children and pets, launching us out for people as they put out bins... And even chasing people down streets. Oh my god, he was fucking with people. People were left bitten, bruised, and bleeding. A few even needed tetanus jabs. One person writing on Facebook said, Warning, vicious squirrel that attacks has bitten me, attacked my friend, and multiple other people. It's also attacked my two Bengals. Well, tigers. Who fear nothing. And my neighbour's Bengal cats. What? What the fuck is going on? How many Why Bengal they... cats are there in this? Why they got Bengal? Why have they got these fucking fancy ass cats? Dare not go out. What? That guy's been like completely savage. What part of his body is that? What is that? Is that his arm? His leg? His face. But it's very badly bruised. <laughs> and a finger with a bite in. Oh, that's a pretty savage bite. This squirrel is not very nice at all. Just had me when collecting my recycling bags. Let's just say it had me good and proper, little shit. <laughs> Fucking hell, is that 40... Sorry, 65-year-old Corrine Reynolds, yeah. known locally as the bird lady. She was... Brilliant. She was feeding... It's because she looks like a bird. She has been feeding the squirrel since the summer. She's keeping it alive. That's her friend, the s Stripe, the squirrel. You can tell... She's a bird lady because she's wearing a fucking massive jumper it's to cold. shield her from the claws oh, right. of the birds, okay. right? The wild animals know not what they do. They bite you. They will fuck you up. They don't care. They don't love you. They're not your friend. They're wild. They're wild. You, the only They're way wild. you can protect yourself is with a large woolly jumper. That's what they were made for. Oh, my God. They imprisoned him. He's now in prison. What By Kareen! That fucking bitch! The that bird traitor! Woman, she lured him in and put him in a prison. Oh, I can't believe she would fucking do this. Hang on a second. What is this? They've arrested him. What? And uh, he's been put on death row. She failed to contact animal rescue charities. She asked vets to put him to sleep as it's illegal to release grey squirrels back into the wild. Yeah. She dead. then launched a fundraising appeal to pay for the £110 fee. Well, the death fee. Oh, my God. All right, so first off... Oh, my God! I like to think that this squirrel is like... You know those Netflix shows where there's, like, a murderer? I say... <laughs> They're all like these real like life. Any any mystery, but murder they mystery love the show. real life documentaries, right? Oh right, yeah. They love the yeah. true story. They go and interview Did he do everyone. It? Did he? And they what they've got here is they've got like a, a woman who hunted down this creature that was terrorizing the neighborhood. Right. Trapped him. Judge, jury, executioner. Took justice into her own hands. Vigilante, if you like. What she do? She fucking caught the squirrel and fucking took him to death and had him executed. She might as well have brought the axe down herself. Ton. And she's expecting us to pay her. I thought you for was... murder. Oh, okay. 
I thought you're still talking about a fictional. No, this is no, no on the or... Netflix. It's all true, right? Was there all actually a squirrel on the, on the Netflix episode? What? No, this is going to be 2020. Oh right, I guess. Do you know you. what I mean? Like this is a this is I a gold confused. mine. There's like so a bunch of producers confused. like like drooling, thinking how how this is going to be the next big money. Next Tiger King, Squirrel Queen. Uh, I lo- <laughs> squirrel. No, Bird Lady. <laughs> bird Lady. Bird Lady, Squirrel Murderer. Mm. I love the I love the shows the the sort of real life crime things where they. They interview the main suspect a whole bunch, and ev- and he looks really guilty, and they bring up all this evidence, but he's got completely gotten away with it. Mm. But then, at some point near the end, he forgets that he's on camera, and then he just says, "Yeah, so I fucking choked the bitch out and murdered her and buried her body in the Nevada desert." They always and do this. And it's like, this. why do you do? Why do you say this? I don't know. I think why they, do they do this? They want to get caught. You know, yeah, maybe that's it. The guilt gets them. Maybe that's it. Or they just they just l- lazy. They've gotten away from it for so long. That's how most people get caught. It's just they they, they their vigilance drops because they think they've gotten away with it, and that's when they get that's when they get caught. Most people get caught because they've gotten away with it for so long that they eventually get caught. Yeah, it's a circular logic, but it is helps. that only for murder. Not like shoplifting or like joyriding, graffiti. I think a lot of these minor things have um, limits. Littering. Statutes of limitation, right? I've gotten away with littering for so long. <laughs> that one crisp packet I dropped when I was seven, I thought I got away with it. And then on a peculiar portions, I brought it up as a hypothetical situation. <laughs> oh, no. The police are here. I can't really do the thing Ew. anymore. Hello, hello, hello. What have we here? I hear you've been committing a no, crime I... and confessed to the crime. No, it's all right. I I've don't got watch... it on video I... evidence. No, I don't watch live TV. It's just for when I play the Switch. I don't need a license. Ah, uh, that's... Got you, motherfucker. Well, I don't watch iPlayer either, so you can go fuck yourself. I'm... Prick. I'm sorry for the miscommunication, sir. Oh. And uh, have a nice day. Oh. Do you want a cup of tea? Jaffa cakes? Oh, you got Jaffa cakes? Yeah. You got donuts, all the bars? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a donut. Do you want a donut? Oh, oh yeah. Come right ahead. Come come into my house. By all means. And then I pull out a fucking axe. <laughs> that, oh, that's a very nice <laughs> axe. <laughs> oh, crikey. Wow, you hit me right. But, Good thing I got this helmet on. But, that was a bit of a no, weird no, accident. No, I murder you. I fucking murder you. I'm dead, you. am I? You're dead now. Oh, that's right? terribly, terribly awful, sir. But Lewis... Right, what I do then... But right? I'm not Lewis. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're a dead police officer. I'm dead. I'm you're dead. back to Lewis. Okay. Okay, I've murdered with you the... with the axe, I'm but dead now. I've got to get rid of the evidence of the axe. What I do... What about the body? I just said it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> an accident. Nice. I've got to get rid of the murder weapon. The mur- that's the most important thing. I put it in the oven with some rosemary. I bake it. And then when the police come round, I serve it to them for dinner. Right. Checkmate. This is a, a flawless plan. Checkmate. Um, yes, uh, full house. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different game, Lewis. Royal Flush. Do you know Squirrel Hell is dog heaven? Right. Mm. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Dogs just chasing squirrels Do they all like overlap? Do you know what I mean? Like cat heaven is bird hell. What's squirrel heaven got in it? Just nuts everywhere. Yeah. And I guess like. Oh, That's your hell. That is my hell. It makes sense. So squirrel heaven is actually. Your hell. What's my heaven then? Your heaven. It's just asparagus and giant potatoes everywhere. Mm. Actually, vegan is, heaven. That is my heaven. And you're there with all the other vegans. Hitler's there. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, good to know. Thank you for watching <laughs> slash listening to Peculiar <laughs> Portions. Oh, 